Hello Aries, what a year, right? Ooh, <laughs> I thought 2020 was bad, but 2021 was, uh, I'd have to say worse, definitely because of my son, especially. Um, what a challenging, struggling, rock bottom year. <laughs> It said it's good moments, but most of it, oh man, it's just like, a, it's just a struggling year. You know, just chaos and confusion. And well, that being said, this is going to be your first reading from me in the new year 2022. Um, 2021 for numerology was a five, which is all about those conflicts, challenges, competition. So now we are going into a six year. 2022 is six. So, you know, that's more of that, you know, success and victory and, and blessings. And so let's just hope, hope, and pray that it's going to be better, right? So we are going to go ahead and get this reading started. Um, and I do want to thank you guys very much. Um, you know, at the end of the year, we always do a lot of reflecting. This is, channel has been very challenging and frustrating at times, but it also has been very healing and uh, a blessing because if I can just reach one person... Uh, make them feel a little better about their day or make them see something different or have some healing energy. It's been a blessing to me to be able to do that too. And Spirit keeps pushing me to keep going. So with that being said, we are going to get your reading for January. Um, I, this is a general read. Um, the Oracle and Tarot cards are tools that we use. Um, they are energy and they are just kind of giving you a heads up of what could be happening in that energy field. And you can always, you know, change it you have the free will to change that energy right so but it's just like an acknowledgement of what what could be coming up i'm sorry i wish was playing with her new toys from christmas so you'll be a little squeaking in the background um all right aries so this again this is for the collective of aries we're going to go ahead and start off by a card for the theme of the whole year 2022 okay so let's get into this energy what is the theme for the collective of aries for 2022. I'm using Native Spirit cards. And we're just going to see what's coming in for you for 2022. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages, for your guidance and wisdom, your healing powers. We do appreciate that. So, could you please give us the message for the theme for Aries for 2022, please? So we have eagle medicine. Interesting. Eagle medicine. You know, that eagle has the ability, like most birds will just like take cover. When there's a storm, the eagle flies above it. So Aries, that's a good theme, right? You're going to fly above. You know, be able to see things at a higher perspective. Have that clarity, that keen sense of sight and clarity. So I'm going to go ahead and read the message from the native spirits about this eagle medicine. This is like medicine also is healing. So being able to see things at a different perspective at a higher, higher view for that healing energy for yourself and others. So are you thinking about doing some kind of healing work? Is that your mission? You might be gaining that clarity for that as well. So let's see what it says. So the card, me card meaning is profound connection to the creator in the heavenly realms. As the eagle soars high above the earth, it has the ability to see things from a higher perspective. Courage and stamina are filling your life. You have the ferocity to, oh, sorry about that, ferocity to right injustices and wrongs done to you or others. This is a time to face fear and overcome it. Your native spirit wants you to know. The Eagle Medicine card has chosen you. You are the advent of the opportunity to truly see life from a rarefied vantage point. Eagles are considered one of the most sacred of all birds in many tribes and cultures. Their single-minded fierceness, dynamic energy, and ability to soar high are part of the reason for this. This card reminds you to take heart and face fear. You do indeed have the strength to overcome any adversity. You also have direct line to the Creator. Your prayers are heard and will be answered in accordance to your highest good. You have the capacity to channel extraordinary life force energies through your hands. So the journey is go on in an inner journey and imagine that you're an eagle. 
Feel the power of your wings, the clarity of your eyesight, and the power of your talents. As you do this, be aware of the energy of the magic, majestic eagle filling you. So, Aries, you always are have been a warrior. You face fear dead on sometimes, even when you know you're probably going to be knocked down. Um, you are tapping into your spirit guide, your creator, and having that wisdom. Right? So... You have that inner strength to be the leader of all the signs, right? So that's a beautiful energy, Aries. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and tap back in. This is for the year now, so that's good. So now we're going to tap into, back into January. We're going to get three cards. This is from the Sacred Forest Oracle. January 2022. So what's the theme for January 2022 for Aries, please? Okay, this one wants to come out. We have Standing Stone Passage. See, this is a, a new pathway that you're taking towards your, towards your mission, um, your purpose in life. You are heading down this passage. What else? So like a new beginning for the new year. Growth, toadstools. A lot of growth is taking place within you and around you as well. And what else, please, for Aries? Oh, truth, yes. So you can be living in truth now. All right. So we are going to go ahead and clarify this, these cards. We're going to go ahead and start off with the standing stone or the passage. First, I'm going to read a little part of this passage, too. So this is the spirit of the standing stone says a sacred journey is ahead. Deeper meaning is awaiting to be discovered. You are safe. Yeah. See, and we already saw that with this eagle. Yeah. You're soaring to new heights Aries here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get some tarot cards on this. Balanced energy, the six of pentacles. You know, this is the, all the things that you've been giving. You're also going to be receiving a lot of that back. Okay, so this is that balance energy. And we have, yeah, yeah. This is being anxious and worried, sleepless nights. You know, wondering like, you know, I've done all this work. Why isn't anything coming in? Um, what if I can't do it? This is all going to fade away from you, Aries. It's going to get balanced out. You know, there's no need to set in your worries and anxiety. Just go with the flow of life. Trust. Trust, okay? That things are going to work out. Trust that you have that abundance ability within you. That's your magic. And you can make things happen, okay? Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay, one more. Yeah, see? It's coming to a completion. All this worry and anxiety is going to be left behind. Things are going to balance out, okay? You're being protected. You're starting a new cycle. You're transforming. You're leveling up. Okay, so now let's get into this next message. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to pull um, an angel prayer, if I can find my cards, for this section here, for the passage. We're going to get an angel. See which angels are coming up for us? To help guide us through this. Oh, Archangel Ra Ragiel, peace and harmony. That's beautiful. Thank you, Ragiel, for surrounding my life in harmonious light. So, so letting go of those worries, stepping into a balance, um, and just having this inner peace, you know, seeing the bigger picture. And knowing that it's all purpose for everything, okay? Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to get this toadstools with this growth. So you're having this expansion happening and a lot of growth, getting a lot of spiritual wisdom, getting help from the angels, all this crap that you've been through the last few years, Aries, because if you're like me, it's been years. <laughs> Just 
struggling, right? So it's time. It's time for this abundance to come in. It's time for you to level up and get the gifts that you deserve. It's time for you to have that peace and harmony and balance now. So we're going to go ahead and get some more tarot cards on this. Oh, wait, I was going to read that too. I keep forgetting the little passages to read. Let's see. Toadstools. So the spirit of the toadstool says, beneath the surface of your life, miraculous changes are occurring. Something that you thought was ordinary is, in fact, remarkable. You are in a time of rapid spiritual and material growth. Get ready and hang on for the ride. Oh, I love that. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's get a couple tarot cards on this one. Well, yeah, so that ego eye view up above, that higher perspective, you're seeing things in a new, different perspective. Yes, I love that. Yeah, you're not seeing things like in black and white anymore. You're seeing all the colors in between. So Aries, this growth and going through all these challenges and experiences has opened you up to see the bigger picture now, to see from a higher perspective. With that, you have a lot of choices. You have the lover's card here. A lot of choices. This also could be somebody coming in your life that's a, um, like somebody you have a spirit connection with. Whether it's romantic or a friend or whatever, you have this coming in. Because you have opened yourself up. You've learned the lessons. You've grown. You're elevating. And then... This also could be about choices, having a lot more choices. And, be, and you know, not settling anymore. Having that opportunity, like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to wait till I, what I deserve, that I know I deserve, right? So, again, victory and success. Six of Wands. You had the Six of Pentacles with that balance. Now you have the Six of Wands. Victory and success. Public recognition. Right? So that's beautiful. All right, so let's get the angel message for this. The angel prayer. With this growth. Oh, wow. Inner power, the Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating with my world with me. Yes, yeah, see? This brings you... The universe working in your favor, whatever you want. You are magical. You have co-created to receive all this abundance, all this wisdom, to stand in your power, Aries. Doesn't that feel good? All right. Last card here is Raven Spirit Truth. If I can find it, here we go. So this truth, the spirit of the raven says, the soul loves the truth. Find your truth, speak your truth, live your truth. Be fearless in your journey. Follow your inner guidance. Let go of what is not authentic and sincere in life. Be a shining example of truth for others. Yes, beautiful Aries. Yeah, see when you let all that other stuff go away, you know your worth, you're just at peace. You're seeing things at a higher perspective. You've leveled up. You know, you know what you're worth. You're, that's what you're demanding now. It's like, I deserve this. No more of this other stuff. I am living my truth. So, beautiful card there. So now we're going to go ahead and get the tarot on this. Truth. I think this is going to be a great year for us, Aries. Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. There's that abundance. This is being like that motherly nurturing compassionate grounded strong woman right a strong feminine energy this queen of pentacles this is abundance this is powerful no more living in lack anymore letting go of anything that you feel is lacking in your life you're just taking all the blessings, all the lessons and everything, and just raising it, you know, raising the bar here. Looking at things differently. It wasn't lack. It was just 
building your strength, your character, making you humble, making you appreciate, appreciate the things you do have. This could be struggling with choices, the two of wands. So, you know, if you if you ever start teetering on that, you got to stand back into that, looking at things at a different perspective. Start living in your truth. This is like making a choice and sometimes struggling with it. So this is really trusting your intuition, trusting in spirit, trusting that there's a purpose behind every challenge that you face, okay? Now we're going to get an angel message. <laughs> wow. Manifesting miracles. Archangel Orion. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. Well, isn't that a beautiful one for that? Look at all this. You have inner power. You're manifesting miracles. What's that other angel card here? Uh, peace and harmony. Looks like a good January. Good start to the year. All right, so we're going to close this reading with one more Native Spirit message for January. This is for the whole year. This is Eagle Medicine. I see you as um, that higher wisdom, seeing things clearly, um, rising above, healing powers, manifesting, all that. So that's beautiful for this year. So let's go ahead and get our message for January from these Native Spirits, and we're going to go ahead and close this reading up. Need a spirit message for Aries for January. So we have two. We have ancestors and great mystery. So I really see you're kind of learning some of those great mysteries. You just have that inner knowing now inside. It's like you've tapped into your soul and you just know the answers up to a lot of things now. You just have that feeling. And you're receiving a lot of um, help and guidance and wisdom from your ancestors. So we're going to go ahead and read both these messages and then we're going to close out our January reading for you. So first we're going to go ahead and do Ancestors. Card meaning, wisdom is blossoming. Even if there are unsettling situations in your life, there's a reason for it. A much good will occur as a result. Your ancestors are sending you incredible support to fulfill your dreams. Be aware of the coincidences, signs, and synchronicities around you. Watch for messages from your forebears. No matter what's occurring on the surface of your life, your prayers are being answered in a mysterious ways beyond your awareness. Mysterious ways beyond your awareness. See that? Your native spirit wants you to know there's wisdom that dwells deep within yourselves. That's a spiritual bequest from your ancestors. This wisdom has come not only from your forebears, joyous, carefree times. It has also bloomed from their failures, deflated dreams, and seemingly wrong turns in life. Part of their messages to you is to cherish every experience for all that will deepen your wisdom, compassion, and understanding as it did theirs. Also know that there's an innate wisdom within you, always. It's a simply a matter of turning within in order to access it. Native people always call on their ancestors for support. To ask for their help is to walk the native path. Sometimes you may be so focused on what's outside of you that you forget that your wisdom is available to you from your spirit or your ancestors. Be willing to ask for they want to support you. So that's a beautiful message. It all like coincides, doesn't it? This is beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this great mystery. Okay, so the great mystery message is have faith and know that you're divinely guided. Even when you have doubts, trust that you're exactly where you need to be, believe. You've planted your seeds, now allow the Creator to do the rest. Even if you can't see into the future, have faith that the path will illuminate and go forward. If you have any recurring challenges, turn them over to the Creator. Not my will, but thy will be done. Your Native Spirit wants you to know, many Native cultures refer to the Creator as the Great Mystery. It's the idea that Great Spirit is so vast and profound that in many ways it's unknowable. Faith is the foundation of the ability to manifest. Everything was created because someone believed that it was possible, and patience is absolutely crucial in this application of the principle. Trust. Change can happen in a heartbeat, but some things require time. You've planted the seeds, 
That's the second time. Look at that. Now give them time to grow. Please be patient and know that it will happen. Whatever receives your care and attention will flourish. So, Aries, you've put your intentions out there. You've done the work. Now it's time for that trust, okay? Because something magical has happened behind the scenes, you know? So that is a beautiful start to the new year, isn't it? So I wish you the best. I'm so glad to hear this because I am a double, probably a triple Aries because I have another sign in Aries, but my sun and moon are in Aries. So I just love this message. So looks like a great beginning to the new year for you, Aries. You just got to stay seeing things above like from the higher vision trusting your intuition trusting spirit and knowing what you deserve so that's beautiful so thanks so much for watching and the support bless be bye